My poor defenders. Oh, did I not put in the castle corners? Because they're sitting in my... in my bar. Okay, I think I think I got them in. So they should be able to build the rest of that. Unfortunately, these guys are not nearly as susceptible to spikes. But you know what they might be susceptible to? I guess this does damage. Really, I don't think that's hitting them. But that's okay. Get them, Malroth. It looks like they're giving me stuff like cotton. Oh, for a second it, I thought it said I had 257 cotton. I get really, really excited. I don't. I'm less excited now. Okay, do we have any more busted blocks for me to uh, for me to destroy? Conveniently, stone does not collect on busted blocks. So it's easier for me to spot the stuff. Okay. that in, plus a block, and the rest of these cobblestones, I don't know, I'll replace them as I go along. I probably have enough to replace the lot of them now. Then at some point, hopefully we get a different uh, floor material so I can make things out of, huh, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, we still haven't found out uh, who the princess is. The only reason why I bring that up is because supposedly I'm going to be able to make a princess bedroom later. That's actually kind of an interesting question. This is not a short chapter. It's interesting that we're spending so much time building the castle, but it makes total sense. That's bad. Let's see, do we have... Do we have like one corner block? I should be able to, three should be sufficient. I mean, I'm assuming it's the Lady Captain of the Guard. I doubt it's Lulu. Because we'd have to, like, bring Lulu here. And she also said her parents got got. Oh, there isn't a princess. Huh. Well, never mind then. I guess we just get to make a princess bedroom, because probably a recipe from the previous game. Okay. Grab them gloves. Okay, do we got more snow blocks just hanging out? We do. Man, this is the cleanest the walls will ever look. It's kind of impressive, actually. Then spring will come and the whole walls will collapse because they're built on a foundation of literal just snow. Nothing more. Uh, did I give them all my stairs? I did.
Oh, they're still going. I guess this would have been a good time for me to go exploring. Or something. It's kind of nice to have, like, a view. Question. I'm gonna just destroy most of, the, most of this stuff. Do the ballistas... Wait. Oh, no. Well, people are using the ballistas, so that's a good sign. I was gonna say, question, do they actually use the blisters up here? But they don't have any blisters up here yet, so... Uh. But yeah, I was expecting we'd find out, like, there's a princess, or there's, like, more to this area, but... Eh, I guess if there isn't one. Oh, well. Is the blueprint coming? Ah, uh, let's see. I guess if I check castle walls. Yep, we still got a fair ways to go here. Well, do I want to just like go elsewhere for a while? Is that, is that block supposed to be there? Actually, I don't think any of these blocks are supposed to be here. Oh, these are the blocks that I placed down to fill that gap. wondering about that. I was like, it's an odd place to put your crossbows. It's going to be blocked off by that. But no, that was me. But yeah, good time for a dragon slaying. Yeah, that's probably fair. We spotted it on the way in. I haven't seen it since. I'm not entirely sure where it is. I guess we can noob tower up. Well, oh, did I give them all of my ladders? I have like, take out 815. I don't think they're gonna need 900 something ladders. I'm gonna be very impressive, impressed if that's it. I could go get more marble. Very true. Okay. Is that dragon? Because I saw it on the way in. Is it over here? This looks... Yeah, there he is. There's the bad boy. That's a big in. Malroth. How do you feel about dragons? Hey, dragon. How do you feel about butt spikes? I'd swear I've done this before. idea. Oh, it moves! Freaking dragon can move! Keep fighting, Melroth. these ideas were terrible. I guess my next order of business is to put down a bed, probably? How many healing herbs do I have? Not many. 
How many beds do I have sitting around? A couple. Ah, that didn't work. Oh, it's it's the middle of the night. Yeah. This idea is wrought with stupid. This is gonna take some doing. At least the spikes are working. Are they? Yeah, they are. They're not working as well as I would like them to. Hoping I could like plop more of them down. To like really get this guy we get this guy hurting. Okay. Next I next idea. Uh next thing I need. The rest of my healing herbs. Okay. What? I don't think that works nearly as well. I was sincerely hoping it would be one of those where I could ballista him and it would do a whole lot of damage. Use my dragon sword. The damage differential between the dragon sword and my current setup is not great. I should have a bunch of bonfires, yes? Anti Reaper barrier. Okay, there we go. This should do some damage. Right, get out of the way. He's spinning. No! Anti uh anti Grim Reaper barrier. It's been reaped. Okay, there we go. But yeah, my, my Dragon's Bane, I don't think is going to do bonus damage against this sucker. I think the, the damage has just changed too much. I think I can try it in a second. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I actually do less damage with the Dragon's Bane. You'd think it would be good, but that's not how equipment works in this game. It's only It would only give me like a... Plus, like, five damage, but that's to comparable weapons, give or take. Anyway, this guy's almost down. He's a tough sucker, though. Ow. That should give me Dragon Chow? Nope, I've learned something new. Mountain Cleaver. Steel sword with a blade so sharp you can split solid stone asunder. Get out of here, dang Grim Reaper. Tank. Okay, so that was doable. I was really hoping my tricks and traps would work against those guys. And, like, the spikes definitely did about as much damage as I probably did. But it might have just been better for me to just legit fight it instead. But, eh, grand scheme of things. Worked out. Dragon's dead. Also, Vein of Marble. I'm going to call this a successful day. Probably also going to say I should 
Switch game soon. Because what time is it? It's like 12.17. I should probably... S well, normally I'd say I should probably stop. No, I'd still say I should probably stop. Eh. Mod bead, giant vein of... Nope, that was not as much marble as I was hoping for there. I will admit I'm pretty invested now in this in this chapter. I think more so than the other ones. Not necessarily because I like the characters uh, that much, though. I mean, they're charming enough. I think it's mainly just one of those that we got that sneak peek at whatever the hell's out out and wherever, and it's like, oh, yeah, I kind of want to see that. Like, the fact that there's this whole green area where they're talking about, like, the world being an illusion, like, that's... That's the hook that got me interested, like, in this plot. Oh. There's, like, a shrine on top of this. Yeah, it's got the great defense of Cat Cantlin feel too. Yeah, it does. Which, like, chapter one was by far, I think, my favorite chapter. From, uh, Dragon Quest Builders? Oh. That's a confusing one. I thought I was supposed to turn them around, but the answer is no. Candles! Yeah, the traps are my favorite. I wish every chapter had different traps. Yeah, like, I, I wish there was more on the whole, like, defense side of things. Because it is definitely some of the more, like, interesting gameplay. Admittedly, it is a little easy to just, like, skunk it all by just saying, like, hmm, big wall made out of iron or, like, maximum stone or, like, a moat. But there's only so much you can do about that sort of thing, I guess. It wants me to defeat those guys, but I'm not sure if I can do damage to them. Did I go over here? Yeah. I mostly did, because that's the boat over there. And then a bunch of wrecked houses, which I actually didn't really look at that hard. There's a werewolf there. I think that's the only place I've seen a werewolf. Let's go take a look and talk to him. Ooh, I've got a dreadful sweet tooth, in fact. I've got about a hundred of them. I wonder how humans taste. Well, nope, that's, that's not... Oh, right, magic crystals, like, all over the place here. Not that I've needed any more magic crystals, at least for a little while. Okay, so this is probably not where I need to go. There's, uh, there's something up there, and obviously there's stuff down there. Let's go back to Moonbrook Castle and see if the wall's up. You guys about done? 99%. So what's missing? Just the last couple of castle walls? Well, there's a very sensible ladder, so you don't have to take the, uh... You don't have to take the exits out. Wait. Is that it? 
What else are you missing? Just the corners? Looks like there might be some interior interior castle walls that are that need doing. Well, hopefully they've got them. Oh yeah, they're underneath those stairs. You can even see it. Well, he's gone. I got it. Oh yeah, open the central ballista wall. I, you know, I actually missed that that was locked off. Oh shoot, did I not finish the, uh, the roof in the king's castle? I guess I didn't. Or the king's chambers. Whoopsies. I'm- oh, I ran out. Oh, this is a gate to suit the finest castle. And Moonbrook Castle is the finest of castles indeed. So this is the true power of creation. I never thought I'd say it, but I'm bally, gl bally glad. Bally, bally glad? You taught us all to be builders like you, dude. Our fortifications are complete. Moonbrook Castle stands strong once more. Our formidable main gate will not only thwart the shaman and their bolts of fire, but she'll pre present an effective obstacle to any other foe. And the spike traps and zap traps you built will make short work of any intruders who make it past the first line of defense. Of course, if you think they would serve us better elsewhere, I shall defer to your building expertise. <laughs> Done well, dude. As a token of my thanks, I offer you the choice of any item from the royal treasury. But your majesty, we have no treasury. We have no treasure. We barely have enough food to feed our citizens. How oh, right you are, my girl. It seems that the revival of my castle must be its own reward. Ho ho ho! Hey Colty, how's it going? And welcome Associated Raiders! And Moose and Joe. Oops, I don't actually know. It's pretty late. How are you guys doing? I'm staying stupid late- stu yeah, staying up stupid late. Because I'm like, furiously addicted to this game. It's bad. Well, let me to offer you my own thanks, dude. This gate is a masterpiece. That wonder- that- what wondrous things can be achieved in the power- by the power of building. I admire your ability. And yet I cannot forsake my faith. The children of Hargon say that building is a sin, and my conviction is unshakable. We'll soon see about that. If you don't stop going on about your conviction, I'll give you a proper shake. Please, Malroth, I cannot become a builder, but I will do everything in my power to battle Hargon's hordes. Please be safe in the knowledge that I will not stand in your way. Meanwhile, we should all be safe behind this great gate you've built for us. At long last, we fight from a position of strength. Let us make good use of these fortifications and tackle the enemy on our own terms. Now that the gate building's done and dusted, let's get out there and teach that mob of monsters a lesson. Oh, come on. Don't tell me Captain Convictions convinced you to hide in the castle and wait for them to attack. All right, then. How about we hurry things along a bit? Are you ready for a fight if I go out there and pick one? Yes. Great. I knew you'd see it my way. Your gate's great and all, but... Building only takes you so far. Sometimes you gotta start bashing instead. Stop right there! What are you thinking, Malroth? Your rashness endangers us all. You can't just start a battle whenever you ready will feel like it. I can and I will, so shut up. I'm gonna put an end to this precious war of yours once and for all. Come on, dude. Are you with me or what? Okay, so he wants me to go places. But still. It is 3.30 a.m. here. Do you guys want me to stop so you're free and you don't feel, uh, tempted to stay up later? Because I probably should. Why, why don't we do that? Before, before Malroth goes out on his crusade. Uh, what I did want to check out, though... Oh, wait, that's machinery. I'm gonna move this out here. Because I want to make the mountain cleaver. People are saying... No, play for as long as you want. 
I mean, I probably should stop soonish because Shell wants to do things, probably. Okay, well, I got a mountain cleaver now. Not that you could tell. I still can't... Uh, hmm, eh. I still can't access the uh, changing table, which is unfortunate. Anyway, let's let's fix the throne room roof. Let's see. Don't stop because others can't control themselves. Stop when you decide it's time. Yeah, but I can't control myself either. You guys are the convenient excuse. Okay, well, now that I fixed the ceiling, I've got healing items aplenty. Well, this is gonna be kind of butts. Uh, I guess let's put away the raw materials. Okay, dude, let's see if we can get that troll really riled up. We can get their leader to chase us. The rest of them are sure to follow. What do you mean, what's the plan? Watch and learn. Oi, Fatso! Grrr. Who are you, Moonbrook soldiers? You look like the stupidest one here. I guess that makes you the leader of this rabble. Or maybe it's the fattest, stinkiest monster who gets to be a leader. Oh wait, that's still you. <laughs> Arrgh, I show you, stupid. <laughs> you got that right. I've never seen anyone as stupid as you in all my life. Kill them! Kill them all! <laughs> That's done the trick. Quick, dude. Let's get back to the castle. <laughs> Aha! Did you see the look on that troll's face? Well, we'll get a closer look soon enough. Dude, Melroth, there you are. Hmm. Where have you been? Anessa has been worried sick about... Good heavens! What in the world is going on? Looks like our guests have finally arrived. There we go. Okay, so, um... But they're not in the spike range. That's dumb. Let's fix that. Alternatively... I have a bunch of zap traps, uh... That I can also plonk down. Let's do both. That's... It's not my zap traps. Out of the way. I'll be lined up. There we go. We. Okay, that should mess up the headhunter something fierce. Troll, supervisor of the siege. As battle ends now, I cast. I smash your castle to itsy bitsy bits. Uh, is he? Well, the AI got busted, unsurprisingly. He can bash my spikes in. Not only that, he can break him for good. Yep. 
but he didn't do any lasting damage. Uh, maybe he didn't actually. I think I might have picked it up, but it doesn't matter. Aha! That troll and his army weren't so tough after all. We smashed the siege. Valroth, this attack was your doing, was it not? I warned you not to attack, uh, not to act alone. Who cares? We won, didn't we? It is true that guarding the enemy army into attacking was a reckless act, but we did win! After so many years of suffering, I hardly dared dream we'd ever break the siege. Until this moment, I was in two minds as to whether renouncing the children of Hargon and joining the builder was truly the correct choice. But no more. This resounding success has assuaged my every doubt. We are not slaves to the cycle of destruction. We can win this war. Oh-ho! Come on, dude, my boy. We have work to do. Indeed we do. Why, the castle took rather a beating in that last battle. Before you hear the king's request, might I suggest we repair the damage? The castle wall blocks that have kept our enemies at bay crumbled at the sight of that troll's club. Would that he were the only monster on this island with such strength. Still, the walls shall serve us well enough against their army's rank and file. As honorary builders, we of Moonbrook shall see to the repairs. What damage? <laughs> Anything monsters break without a dropping get repaired by the townsfolk after the fight. Not always. If it's too far away from town, it won't get fixed at all. Wait, did I end up with extra... Yeah, I guess in this case, I did, but I think I ended up with extra... I think I ended up with extra blocks there. think? No, 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 no. Same amount. They they switched it around. For a second I thought I got some extra uh, zap towers, but still. Zap traps. All things considered, though, worked out. And yeah, they did actually fix up my external defenses, which doesn't usually happen, but it did there. As king and ruler of this proud land, I have decided upon a new and exciting commandment for my subjects to follow. To defeat Hargon's army. Alas, I fear it will take much more than a recent victory to convince me uh, my many soldiers and subjects that our endeavor is not a hopeless one. What we need is a symbol to inspire the people, something to stand at the heart of our castle and rally them to a cause, and I want you to build it, dude. Oui. Discover this unusual item among the troll's possessions. Perhaps you can make something of it. Yaha. Enchanted Ember. You have your orders. Build me a symbol of hope, dude. And place it below the great gate, that all comers might know Moonbrook's glory. Yay! Beacon of Erdrick. Burning bright flames said to have been lit by the Hero of Legend. I love it how we just shove the book back into our spine. It's like, well, this belongs here. Oh, I know exactly where this goes. Oh, this is the bedroom. Is there snow still in your bedroom? Oh, yeah, I guess it kind of makes sense. Wow. Castle blocks actually amount to quite a fair bit. Pretty fancy. What the? No! Ah! No! Double! Ah! Okay. There we go. Everything is good. Everything looks good. This room is better and no longer has snow in it. There we go. 
Hey everybody, wake up! I built a thing! It'd be nice if this actually kept the snow out of town. Did I miss? I missed by one. Egan! <laughs> Darling Mark, dude. If this doesn't light a fire in my people's bellies, nothing will. Come, citizens of Bro Moonbrook, and gaze upon Erdrick's beacon. Oh, shoot. That did actually get rid of all the snow. Freaking finally. Well, except for the couple of snow blocks left behind, but still. Goodness gracious me, all the snow inside the castle has melted away. I feel warmer already. Indeed, so as long as so long as the beacon burns, nary a flake of that which piled high on our streets and froze our feet shall air darken our door again. And not only that, I feel somehow stronger. Why, I feel like I could take out the whole world. Me too, the monsters may be strong, but so are we. If they dare to attack again, we shall give them a right royal thrashing. Yes, we shall fight, and we shall win. Well said, Warwick, my boy. Let's break free from Moonbrook's fate and bring this war to an end. Ho, 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 ho. That's the spirit. Come, my loyal subjects. Let us gird up our loins and defeat Hargon's army. Once and for all. <laughs> well. Time for right proper traveling. Uh, there's castle blocks underneath that. I'll have to fix that. And also that expanded the uh, the radius of the town considerably. So this area is now part of the town. Pretty much out of blocks, but that's okay. Not this part though. Just that front part. Which is awkward, because I really don't want to put much in, in here, but it's nice that it's part of the town. Maybe we'll put like outdoor eating or something. Uh, speaking of, we can actually do that. Let's see. What I would like to make is... Oh. I don't really want a crockpot. Uh, crockpot, so let's just put a bunch of these down. make a ton of stools. I'm just gonna make an outdoor eatery right here. This feels a bit... I'm not gonna say sacrilegious, considering the, the iconography. Okay, so we need a little bit more crockery. We might as well make a ton. That's just going to be the eating area. I wonder if I could actually even, like, uh, stick a number of these tables together. I don't know, probably. Let's see, the other thing is, we just got a lot more marble. So, I could probably make... Just make 410 for now. I've been playing this one game for 9 hours straight. I should... I should probably stop. I'm gonna keep saying that. Especially because this is actually a really good stopping point. And, honestly, I know I'm just gonna be playing more of this tomorrow. So why don't we... Why don't we actually accept our fate? 
probably go grab everything that was in this chest. That didn't get used. Look well, you know, how people have already filled it with uh, potatoes and stuff. I actually needed those stairs. Uh, let's see. Grab the stairs. Here's the other thing is, can I just bonk it? Give me all that stuff. But yeah, we have we have an insane amount of small tasks that I need to work on. For sure. From repairing the rest of the castle, what the? Well, I didn't mean to do that. Or did I really want to do that? But... When you're on stairs, you straight up, like, whatever plane you're on, it, it does not know. It's very confused. But yeah, we're gonna need more barracks. We're gonna need... A ton of stuff. Fix these. They bug me. A lot of these things... Bug me from a design decision standpoint, because it's just like, well... I, I don't like the fact that all these blocks are weird. And I do hope we get, like, proper floor blocks at some point, too. I really like those, like, big square tiles, but the moment you start, like, replacing them, it actually just goes away. Well. For now, I think I'm good. Just replace that. And, yeah, so there's there's an insane amount of other things I could do. Hopefully I can get some more happiness as we go along. Uh, you know what? They just look kind of sad there. We might actually want to make some kind of, like, fine banquet hall, hall situation. But for now, seeing as everybody's sitting there waiting... these bird placements are just kind of random. Also, everybody's hungry. Yeah, we're just gonna have a long table here. Oh, these, these stone blocks need to go. I don't know how I've tolerated them. Everybody's just super despondently sitting and waiting for food. But... Might be coming? I'm not entirely sure. We should have food. Nobody's been harvesting it, though. Did they just... I guess they haven't been cooking much. Like, I shouldn't have to harvest everything. We had a farmer, yeah? I wonder if... No, they will definitely cook using... They'll definitely cook using the other stuff. Weird. Well, have a bunch of meat and grain and associated other things. I might have to go fight for my meat, but that's okay. The villagers only harvest automatically on the Isle of Awakening. Not true. They will harvest here, too. Because the farmer guy 100% was harvesting previously. And he's there. I don't know. Because they're also harvesting automatically on... The first island, too. Well, later deal. 
I played that entire chapter. Never saw anyone harvest anything ever. I uh, I definitely would like come back and the the potatoes were only like half grown and there'd be a pile of potatoes in a chest. But I don't know. I'll have to see about solving the food supply issue. I'd love to get more seeds. I mean, seeing as we have a farmer who can farm. But, yeah, until we can find a more reliable source of seeds, I'm pretty much stuck for food. I mean, I should probably get some more medici medicinal shrubs, too. But still. Anyway. I gotta stop playing this because I've been playing it for nine hours and that's bad.